Hello everyone, welcome back once again. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a very simple HTML, CSS, and JavaScript only website inside the Visual Studio 2020. So this is perfect if you are just starting out web development and want to use the powerful features of Visual Studio, like IntelliSense, Bargain, and Live Preview to build and test your website. But before we do so, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. But let's go straight into it. As you can see on the screen, I've got Visual Studio 2026 up it. Yeah? Get us started. Let's go ahead and click on create a new project. So what says this is um this is just um, HTML, CSS, JavaScript only website. We're going to use a blank solution. So we're going to use a blank solution. So what we're going to do is obviously, um, you can type in solution. So as you can see here now, we've got our blank solution. So you can select it and then click next. Here you can give your solution a name. I'm going to make mine web web one. I've already opened it, but I just wanted to show you how to get yourself to this point. So I'm just going to um, close it. You can click on create um, to create the blank solution like what I've got here. So as you can see, I've got this solution web one with nothing inside. You have to create a, um, a very simple HTML and CSS um, only website. Let's right click it, um, the solution and then add. So, as you can see here now, we can add new project, we can add existing project or existing website. So, what we're going to do is add existing website. To do so, yeah, you can go to. Um, Go to your, um, your computer, um, your documents, and then up, and then create a folder, an empty folder. As you can see here now, I've got a folder here, an empty folder here. I've called it web uh, website one inside my desktop. Folder. So you can do the same thing. Go to your desktop folder, create a new folder, empty folder, and then come back here. Use uh, the same process, the file system, and then select the folder so once we select it it be opened as you can see here now we've got our folder open here it's got nothing inside so let's go ahead and add a few stuff to it. so let's right click our folder i mean our website and then add a new folder so let's call this folder css let's add one more folder and and call it JS. So let's right click our website one again and add new item. So as you can see here now, we'll be able to add um, HTML page, JavaScript, and style, style sheet. If you are not able to see this one here, you have to open the Visual Studio Editor and click on modify and then it will be taken to this page here the workloads make sure you select asp.net and web development yeah so this will actually help you build web applications using asp.net html java and whatnot yeah and then come on to the this right hand side here yes as you can see here now we've got that asp.net and web development selected here but make sure that you have this um this box checked as well yeah so this is a runtime choose reference assemblies and intelligence to build and deploy dot net framework make sure you select it yeah and then um download and install it and that that, that will be it for now and you'll be able to see um html javascript here 
and you'll be able to add it. So first, let's go ahead and add this um, index.html. So we've got our index.html. Let's go ahead and add um, another item. And let's um, style. Let's choose a style sheet and let's call it just a uh, style.cs. And then let's add one more thing. So this uh, one more item, obviously, is going to be a JavaScript. So we're going to add one more JavaScript. And going to, um, going to call it, we're just going to call it uh, index test.js. So as you can see here now, we've got a very simple static website, just our HTML and HTML, CSS and JavaScript today. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to, um, we're going to go to GitHub Copilot and we're going to tell GitHub Copilot, right? Very simple stuff for us. So here, here is what we're going to do. So we're going to select, um, We use we use the the hashtag to select whatever file that we want to. So we're going to select um, first uh, index.html. Going to also select um, 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 index.js. We're also going to select our um, our style sheet um, style.css, yeah? and then we're going to write um, create a very simple interactive blog. So as you can see here now, we've got Copilot um, providing us with the code. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to um, I'm going to just um, make sure I've got the, all the codes here. So let, first, let's put the HTML. Let's apply the changes to the HTML. So let's go to the Solution Explorer. Then open our index.html. Let's go ahead and apply the changes. Have the changes here. So let's go ahead and open our our style sheet and do the same thing. So I'm just gonna pause and do the same thing for all the um, files. So I've put all the changes inside the file, inside our file. But let's have a look at what we've got inside the index. The index.html wasn't updated. Let me have a look. this wasn't updated at all. So I'll just go ahead and do it again. But you know how to actually get yourself started and create these things. I mean, that's the main purpose of the video. I just wanted to do this obviously to make very nice. So for this case here yeah, is I'm going to leave the video here now, not to complicate y'all too much, but I will actually run it first. So let me oh I will actually run it on my next upcoming videos. Yeah. So I'll leave it here. So have a lovely morning. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do. Have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.